Hello and welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I am Wolfgang. And this is definitely going to be the deepest energetic house clearing you have ever done. And it's very important that you keep your house or place of living in a high vibrational state if you want to be in a high vibration state. If your place of living is in a low vibration, then you're kind of swimming against the stream. And your meditations will be more shallow, and your life will be more like a drag. And that is exactly you know, how these dark energies can feel like. Like moving in syrup. Dense, sticky, and uncomfortable. So please understand, you know, that all the items in your environment, you know, have a certain vibration. And high vibration and low vibration is not enough to consider. I mean, there's a lot more to that, you know, but it's maybe the most important factor. And, uh, you might have a, an item, you know, that carries very happy energy, you know, or triggers happy memories and then there are items so uh, that have or bring darkness into your life you know compare the picture you know of a poppy field and yes i shot that you know with that of a mass grave you know? uh, which one would you hang over your couch now some items may carry some dark energies you know if they for instance belong to somebody that was suffering heavily, you know, like dying of cancer, you know, or a broken heart, paranoia, or depression. So, if you are a hoarder, please consider that you may be a hoarder of bad emotions that you're keeping in your place through those items. And then, of course, another source of dark energies are envious, you know, or angry neighbors that have hate your guts, you know, 20 times a day when they look at your house or your place, they send you dark energy, you know, this is going to get somewhere. You know, or cemeteries, I have one right over there, you know, or slaughterhouses, or hospitals, you know, and other places of darkness, well, like battleground, and you know, maybe even a cell phone tower, you know, I have one over here too. And well, with battle crowns, you know, come discarnates, in other words, ghosts that are still trapped in their trauma. And they affect the living too, you know, by living off their life force, you know, for sure. But they also affect you with their thought forms, you know, and their emotion. It's like having a crazy roommate. You know, with living with you that you cannot see, but sometimes, you know, you may feel his presence. And, of course, most of you watching this, you know, are used to purify their places with smudge, you know, which is burning sage or sweet grass, you know, or maybe Palo Santo, you know, or some uh, incense, you know, or let's say essential oils you know geranium is really nice you know um to purify you know your own chi or the chi in the house and there are things like you know much simpler the angelic tuning forks they also pack quite a punch mm -hmm. and then um you know there are metaphors Yes, you know, one of those, uh, you know, and um, symbols. <laughs> you know, and um, all gone and generators. You know? And uh, you have uh, colored lights. You know, these are according to feng shui you know, in all the corners. Mm -hmm. And uh, programmed crystals. So, um, you know, I do that all. Uh, but, you know, guess what? 
So the following meditation, you know, should clear your space even more. You know, even if you have all those gadgets, you know, and use them. Especially, you know, if you have energy problems in your place of resonance, if there's something funky. So, um, I like to use a pendulum charge from 0 to 100. This looks pretty funky. I use it all the time. You can download one, um, you know, from my website for free. I actually have several models there. Um, really nice. Um, you know, the link is in the description. Um, and, um, you know, or you can just make yourself on, on a piece of paper. You know, just uh, have a circle and have zero, you know, 50% and 100%. You know, very simple. You know, I mean, this is not uh, rocket science, science here. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, some of you, you know, that are more psychic, you know, or might just, you know, have their eyes closed and listen to their intuition. Um, so right before we go under, you know, please um, subscribe and ring the bell. And now, without ringing the bell, you will not be notified about my new releases. So of my 27,000 subscribers, less than 2,000 ring the bell. You know, I mean, that's less than 10%. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> please make sure even if you subscribe, you know, to ring the bell. And also thank you for giving me a thumbs up. You know, it's good karma. All right. So um, close your eyes, you know, and smile. And we ask the Supreme Being, you know, absolute source of everything to surround us with a super powerful aura of love and light that keeps us completely safe, you know, from any manipulation and attacks of the dark side beings. Um, 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 just agree to this. Then we also ask that everything that happens in and from this meditation here is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Uh, you agree here too. You know, we don't want to do any harm. Mm -hmm. And so we are a child of heaven and earth. Right, and we are angelic beings in advanced monkey bodies. So um, now pull, you know, the love from the heavens, you know, through your head, through your higher dimension chakras, into your heart, smile, keep the tongue at the palate. And also, um, you know, at the same time, take the love from the earth mother. Chakra into your legs, into your heart. So you pull in the love on both hands, mm -hmm. top and bottom, and into your heart. And smile like an idiot, you know, so you get the love. If you're just all grumpy, you know, you're not going to get any love. You know, it's just the position of your mouth. Mm -hmm. And keep your focus in the heart, you know, just pull in the love on both sides, heaven and earth, into your heart like money. Mm -hmm. Smile. Deep breathing. If you cannot hear the air flow through your nostril, um, you know, I'm breathing deeply enough. You know, this is for purification here, we're not sending out right now. You know, just purify those pathways in the grounding and in our celestial chakras. Actually, we ask the angels of love and light and our spirit guides of love and light you know, to please purify our celestial chakras and our spinal cord and our grounding cords you know, from our parasites, from all negative influences and as much spells and curses and trauma as can be done without us having to look at the details now. Uh, make sure you agree that's your life. Good, then just keep on pulling that love into your heart. Good. And now we ask that, um, you know, you are um, spiritual, your higher self, you know, your higher dimensional aspect becomes more apparent in your body, 
Mm, so your force field is gonna be probably become bigger now. You know, just say Amen, give permission. Mm -hmm. So some of you may feel just more radiant now. Very good. And now we asked your high self, you know, to give you a yes. Mm -hmm. And in general, you know, a really easy way of a yes besides hearing it or seeing a thumbs up or something like that. It's a flow of energy. You know, a flow of energy from the heart to the head, it would feel like that. This was, of course, generated by me. So now we ask your high self to give you a clear, strong yes. No? Amen. And if that wasn't strong enough, um, please make it a lot stronger now. Amen. And now let's for a no, you know, there will be a flow of energy from the heart to the feet, kind of like a downer. Of course, you know, the stronger the flow is, the stronger, you know, the no is. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it would feel like this. And now we ask your high self to generate a nice, strong no for you that will knock your socks off. Amen. And if that wasn't strong enough, then we request an even stronger one. Knocks the pants off too, right? Amen. Alright, and if you don't get anything here, you know, you might just um, go to the panel. You know, no harm done. Alright. Just keep your eyes closed, keep on smiling. Mm -hmm. You know, we ask, you know, our high self guidance. You know, what is the total vibration, you know, in your place of residence? You know, place of residence is room, apartment, house, <laughs> estate, you know. <laughs> So, um, but, you know, in the locality itself, not the area around it, not the land around it, just the house, you know, the building in itself. So if 100%, that would be just optimal without, you know, going fanatic, you know, then zero would be just really, you know, be the, the worst. Okay, so um, let's just ask from, you know, one to 100, um, where is your total vibration of your residence now? Truth, truth, truth. Mm -hmm. So just remember then, at the end of the session we will compare. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so now we're gonna go for yes and no questions. First of all, are there any portals? dark portals in your house. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. If you have dark portals, hmm, how many? Okay, just remember that. We're going to go back to that later. How about negative ley lines? So these are energy lines from the earth where the energy flows into the earth and if you are sitting there, you know it's going to drain your energy. Just like a water vacuum. So, um, do you have any negative ley lines going through your house? Yes or no? And it's very common. I mean, I have one. <laughs> so, the next question is, if you have one going through your house, you know, does it you know, go, does it drain you? Maybe does it go through your bed or where you work? You know, does it affect you in a bad way? Mm -hmm. Important. 
if it affects you in a bad way, um, you know, you probably have to work on it, you know, figure out about ley lines, etc. All right. Now, are there any ghosts, you know? Discarnates, humans, you know, residing in, in your house? Yes or no? And um, if there are, um, how many? And we will get back to them too. Are there any other entities, let's say negative entities, like angry gnomes, you know, or other dark beings, like gargoyle-like beings, you know, residing uh, you know, in this house, yes or no? And if there are, you know, we ask the sentient teams of love and light to please you know, move them. You know, same as this ghost. And maybe move negative ley lines. Let's just give that order in. Um, so, let's just go now from room to room. And see what's going on. So really important is your bedroom, you know, you're spending about, you know, six to eight hours there, at least. Mm -hmm. So what's the consciousness vibration in your bedroom? Mm -hmm. Are there any dark portals in your bedroom? Mm -hmm. What's the consciousness vibration of your bed? You know, sometimes we inherit beds, and, you know, all kinds of people died in them, <laughs> or were sick, you know. And if it's bad, you know, we ask the spirit guides to please clear those dark vibrations, you know, you know, can start get to it. Yeah. And one more question, are there any, um, you know, uh, negative ley lines going through your bed, no? That affect you negatively, your health, yes or no? Alright, let's move on to the living room. So what's the consciousness vibration in your living room, if it could be a percent? Are there any dark portals in the living room? Are there any dark ley lines in the living room? Mm -hmm. And if there are, we like to have, of course, this clear now. We give permission. Uh, and let's see, kitchen. Now, kitchen is a really you know, important area, you know, because you know, when you cook the food, or the person that cooks the food, that consciousness affects, you know, the people that eat, you know, very, very much. Mm -hmm. Very important, the consciousness of the cook. You know, that's why people say when mother cooks, it tastes best. And if you have a frustrated, angry cook, you know, um, this is not going to be good to eat that food. It's probably going to make you angry and creates more darkness in your life. You know, so you want to have really nice, squeaky clean, loving energies in your kitchen and you're not the ones of a frustrated housewife that banks the pots around in anger and frustration. Mm -hmm. So um, it may not, of course, be you or your mother, you know, that has created those, mm -hmm. especially when you went. So what's the consciousness vibration in the kitchen? find for the go for the wood course you know is there a dark portal in the kitchen yes or no and is there a dark ley line in the kitchen yes or no 
If there's a dark portal or a dark ley line, we like to have this move, you know, to a place where it does not do harm. You know, but good. You know, uh, when we just request, smile, send love. And we ask the angels to suit up the vibration in the kitchen. You know, get to it. And so, let's some be more analytical now. Some people's uh, French, you know, this is like a science experiment. Mm -hmm. You know, so, um, have you have your own uh, bio there. And so, what's the uh, vibration, uh, you know, consciousness vibration in your fridge from 1 to 100? And oh my god. Surprise, surprise. So, let's find out. Is there a dark portal in your fridge? Hmm. Are there any entities residing there? <laughs> yeah. Are they living off the life force? Off of the food? Interesting. So, um, if there are any like these, um, we like to have them brought to a place, you know, where they get nice fresh stuff, like in nature. But we like to have them removed from you know, our fridge. Also, please clear any dark vibrations. Maybe a lot of meat, you know, got stored there or stuff, you know, was left to rot. You know, toxic stuff was there. So, who knows? You know, so we like to have our fridge please purified. Lensed, uh, mm. So, of course, cabinets. You know, um, oh my god. You know, um, some of them can be um, quite contaminated because stuff is stored there, and you may have lots of cabinets. So, um, let's just start with the most important one, you know, where you store your food, because that vibration definitely going to affect you. Mm -hmm. So, what's the consciousness vibration in your food storage? You know, from zero to hundred. If it's not good, we like to have it blessed. You know, send some love there with your breath, smile. You know, pull the love in from heaven and earth and send it into that cabinet. Mm -hmm. Now we have these things called walk-in closets, you know, or just, you know, storage closets for clothes. And some of them has never been worn or, you know, and so on. So it could be, you know, really, you know, a place of darkness. So what's the consciousness vibration, you know, in your walk-in closet or in your, you know, cloth closet? That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. So we asked our angels and the beings of love and light, you know, to clear all these dark vibrations, you know, that are still hanging with the clothes. You know, I mean, we don't wash our pants or shirt or jacket, you know, every time we wear it. And maybe every time we wear it, you know, some more stuff gets stuck in there. So we like to have these all cleared now. Um, um, just you know, confirm, smile. Okay, of course, you know, you can acquire, you know, for another cabinet, let's just do this, whatever you designate. Uh -huh. And you like to have that purified and clear too. Um, um. So let's go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, you know, um, some people, for some people, it's a holy place. You know, where you take a shower, where you purify yourself. You know, where you, you have a nice big bathtub and take a very relaxing bath and do very deep meditations. You know, with the sacred surround sound, like I do. You know, and then for some, it's just like, you know, you drop your unmentionables, you know, and get out as fast as you can. You know, and when you go in there, you know, you may have a gag reflex. 
So, um, let's see, um, you know, let's be honest, you know, to your own, you know, high self, to yourself. What is the consciousness vibration in your bathroom? Mm -hmm. Are there any dark portals in your bathroom? And <laughs> are there any spirits or ghosts living in the bathroom? You know, sometimes we have warriors, you know, ghosts living, you know, watching you taking a shower or in the, uh, whatever. So, if there's funky energies, you know, um, or even funky ley lines, you like to have those clear. Oh yeah, this is a funky ley line in my bathroom. Cool. Mm -hmm. And let's have also the cabinets. How about the cabinet energy? Let's have that all cleared out from dark vibrations. Um, So, you know, some people, you know, um, live in, you know, one room apartment and some have quite a mansion and uh, let's just see, you know, um, let's just quickly go through the rooms. If you have a storage room, what's the consciousness vibration there? Any dark portals there? Any entities living there? If this is funky, let's have it clear, please. Amen. Many have a guest room. So, in guest room, what's the consciousness vibration there? Any entities living there? Any dark portals? If there's any, you know, we like to have that all cleared now. Amen. And you know, many times so there are also basement rooms or basements. You know, some people live there. You know, many kids nowadays live there with their gaming systems, mm -hmm. with their parents. You know, 30 year old men. <laughs> so, um, you know, but then also many times in basements, you know, pretty dark stuff happened, you know, especially if this are all the hole. So, in your basement, what's the consciousness vibration in your basement? Alright, so let's, if there's a low vibration, let's find out why. Are there any dark portals there? Are there any uh, ghosts living there? Yeah. Or other entities? Hmm? And are there any dark ley lines? No, I'm messing this up. Okay. So if there are dark, you know, predatory entities in there, you know, are dark energies there or dark portals, we ask the angels of love and light to rectify the situation, you know, close the portals, return the dark energies to where they came from, or liberate them, mm -hmm. bring them into the love and light, you know, but remove them from the property, and bring them to a place where they will be happy or of service. Amen. 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 Some of you have mansions or kids, and so, you know, if you have kids and they have their own room, let's go to a kid room number one. What's the energy vibration there? Mm -hmm. And are there any dark portals there? Mm -hmm. Are there any, you know, entities or ghosts residing there? If they are, um, 
you know we like to have those cleared now or move and it is removed sent to where they will be happy you know or sent into the love and light or wherever you know it's most for them it's best for them but not with us anymore okay and then please you know we ask the angels to soup up the energy to purify you know the dark thought forms that are still there and fill this love and light um, Then, you know, when you invoke this, you may actually feel, you know, how the vibration is going up. It's kind of an uplifting feeling. Yes. Smile, you know, be grateful. Smile, send love to that room, you know, that you pull in from heaven on earth. All right. Now, while this is going on, you know, uh, of course, we ask, please continue to finish. Uh, if there's a kid room number two, I mean, for a child, um, you know, what is the consciousness vibration of this one? Are there uh, any um, ghosts or entities living there? Mm -hmm. Are there any portals, dark portals there? So, um, if there are any, we like to have those entities that came in through and those energies that came in through those portals. We like to have them return to where they came from. They are not welcome. And uh, whatever, you know, um, if there's ghosts, you know, bring them to the ascension temples, you know, or divine justice courts, whatever is you know, most appropriate. Um, you know, angels of love and light, please. Yeah. If they're dark beings, you know, they don't want to go, you know, take it to the courts of divine justice, you know, for trespassing you know, and infringement on free will. You know, there's always something that sticks. Um, Then we like to have you know, the um, room suit up this love and light. Um, and clear the dark thought forms and bring in the love. Mm. All right, oh, this is starting to feel better now. Now another place, you know, where sometimes there is really funky energy is the attic. You know, the place under the roof. You know, storage place many times. Not only, uh, you know, is there stuff that's not needed, you know, with that vibration stored there. You know, many times, you know, people commit suicide uh, there. Uh, um, you know, this is an undisturbed place and like entities like to hang out there. You know, without having to mix with human energies, like in the kitchen or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, let's just see, you know, what's the vibration, you know, in your attic. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any uh, entities, you know, or, or ghosts um, living there? Are there any dark portals there? So now we ask the dear angels of love and light and our ascension teams, you know, to remove the dark auditory beings and send them back to the portals, you know, that they came through in and also the energies return them through those portals to where they came from. And then, you know, whatever ghosts and other beings are stuck there, you know, bring them to the Arcturian Love Healing and Ascension Temples or other facilities that are for the highest good and come of love and light. It helps them with their ascension, helps them with liberating through higher insight. 
if there's some really bad apples, you know, take it to the courts of the right justice. Um, um, and make sure you agree to this is your place, not mine. No, um, sometimes, you know, the roof, or above the roof, you know, sometimes um, funky stuff happens there too. I don't want to get into too many details there. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, there are things there, you know, to sabotage you. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, what is the consciousness calibration, you know, um, from 1 to 100? Um, for you know, the roof and above the roof, the energy there. Mm -hmm. Good. Are there any um, entities residing there in the space? Negative entities. Are there any dark portals there? If there are any of the above, we like to have them cleared, removed, you know, and then charged up this positive vibration, but camouflaged towards the dark side being, you know, so we don't stick out like this. So, um, you know, and then get attacked. Um, 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 make sure you agree. Right, if you have the luxury of a garage, so maybe you even have a parking spot. So um, what's the vi consciousness vibration there? Hmm? Um, are there any dark entities or ghosts living there? Hmm, is there a dark portal there? And, um, Okay, now if they are, let's we like to have those cleared now. Um, um, as much as possible. And let's also check your car. You know, very important. Uh, many times, you know, people put bad energy onto your car in road rage or jealousy. <laughs> if you have that hot BMW or Mustang. Mm -hmm. Some people are drooling over that. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to have this kind of stuff. So all these energies, they can stick onto it. Mm -hmm. Of course, also traffic angle. So, uh, what's the consciousness vibration of your car? Mm -hmm. Are there any ghosts um, and dark entities attached to it? Mm -hmm. And uh, are they helping? Right, so we like to have this removed. Mm -hmm. And then also, are there any dark portals in your car? And if there are, you know, clear those too. And all the dark energy seen from your car. I mean, there may be fear energy, or boredom, or anger. Mm -hmm. or you know, I mean, fear that your car break down, you know, or frustration. Many people curse their car, you know, if it doesn't start or for this or that, you know. When they have inferiority complex about their car, they like to have that all cleared now. Um, yeah. um, and then souped up, you know, so it's nicely protected and shiny. And you feel good when you are in there. Please, your spirit guides. Um, 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 All right, so, you know, sometimes we were given gifts and you know, that um, carry really bad vibrations with them. You know, this could be from an ex-boyfriend, you know, or this new girlfriend that hates your guts. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, or it may be an artifact, you know, from Africa or anywhere else, you know, that was used for dark purpose and be that thing, oh, that's cool and pretty, you know, and just hang that up. Mm -hmm. You know, 
Oh, this may be, a, you know, an item with dark history that was fought upon and curses were leveled on it, you know, especially with weapons also or jewelry. Mm -hmm. So, um, let us see, um, you know, um, let's ask the high self. So, you know, um, are there items, you know, in your environment that carry some really dark emotional baggage with them? Yes or no? If you got a yes, mm -hmm. let's ask, so which one is the worst? Let's see what comes up. And we like to have that cleared, no, by the mercy, you know, of our spirit guides. Mm -hmm. And while this is going on. What's the second worst item? You know, if it pops into your mind, great. If not, you know, that's fine too. We just ask that that be cleared too. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. the all spirit guides there, no. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just clear that too. Um, um, um. You know, spells, curses, vows, you know, whatever was put onto that. And um, now what's the third item that um, carries, you know, really deep, dark emotion made for you in your environment? And we ask that this be cleared too, um, whether you know what it is or not. All right. You know, and of course, if you want on your own time, you can hunt more down. <laughs> So now, um, you know, clearing is one thing, you know, and blessing is another. You know. So blessing is also really important. And uh, now, um, you know, for a blessing you always need to send good energy, that's what that is, basically. And you, of course, don't use your personal energy, you know, because you don't have enough. You think you can charge up a house? Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. So you have to um, take the energy, you know, from other sources. Like, you know, for you to have an earth, mm -hmm. you know, just pull it into your heart, you know, and send, send it from there, you know, to the desired location. You know, people that have worked with me, you know, um, I suggest you access source love mm -hmm. and send it to the desired um, you know, location that you are blessing. Mm -hmm. And so, then first of all, you know, the entrance, let's just see what's the consciousness vibration of our entrance. Mm -hmm. And let's just blast this with love and light. Mm -hmm. So with the intent that no dark energies, you know, even dare to enter, mm -hmm. but that it attracts you no know, longer you know, beautiful energies, you know, into your hearts, or into your apartment. And that's of course a prosperity blessing too, right there. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, of course, if you have a house, you know, or, you know, or another apartment, you know, there might be a back door. So what's the consciousness vibration there? And so, you know, if there's any darkness there, you like to have that cleared. Yes, somebody tried to break in there, so there's a lot of funk there. Mm -hmm. So you like to have that cleared. Mm -hmm. And we did this, we asked that they be brought to the courts of the right justice. Uh -huh. So we're not going to try that one again. Um, mm -hmm. 
into them please clear those funky energies and let's soup you know the backup you know the back door up or maybe garage door mm -hmm. so no more darkness can get in there either um, um, You make sure you know you charge yourself up on the inhale. Mm -hmm. Now another entrance, you know, is the windows or are the windows to your place. Mm -hmm. So let's see, do there any dark stuff coming through your windows? No. You know, they're all laced here with crystal and salt and all kinds of stuff, so take it. But um, let's just um, bless them. And of course, if there are dark portals, if there are dark energies or entities coming in, you ask that they be cleared. Um, um, and let's soup up those windows. You know, pull in heaven and earth love or source love with the maze I train. Then just go through every window in the house. We actually asked it to become portals, you know, pulling the darkness out of the place and bringing the light in. <laughs> That's what windows do best. All right, so um, let's just continue. Um, now, a lot of funky stuff you know, gets into your house through you know, your TV. Let's see you know, how much dark energy you know, comes you know, from the TV you know, into you know, your place, into your consciousness. So of all the dark energy that still comes into you, how much comes from your TV? So, um, now we you know we want to bless our TV. So we asked also the angels of love and light, you know, to do their magic, you know, from their side, you know, so that no dark carrier rays or other manipulations, you know, are being sent through the TV. Mm -hmm. And we also bless the TV with love and light. Mm -hmm. um, um, so just like the windows and doors, bless all your communication channels. You know whether you're watching it from the computer screen to the TV screen, also to the cell phone screens. Mm -hmm. So we ask, you know, that all these entities or energies, you know, be contained. And just start with the TV. Okay, so let's see how much are you negatively affected by the computer screen. And that's my favorite. Yeah. So let's have um, those, um, you know, whatever manipulations cleared out, filtered out as much as possible. Of course, if you watch, like, you know, any action movies, torture movies, anything of low vibration, I mean, that's still going to affect you. But, you know, we don't want neutral programming, you know, be manipulated. So let's bless the computers. We ask that the computers in the whole house be blessed. Um, 
I'm the master of the house, I pay the bills, so I have the right. So it is uh, more negative entities allowed to further notice. Um, make sure you agree to that. Alright. And how about cell phone? You know, some of you just completely hang with the cell phone and you know have it, you know, carry it where your testicles are or your ovaries. Well <laughs> then I definitely suggest wearing Shungai. You know, put Shungai stickers on your phone at least as a minimum. Mm -hmm. So then how much um, are you negatively being affected, you know, with your consciousness through your cell phone radiation? Mm -hmm. And we ask that these portals of dark energies please be cleared as much as possible. Spirit guides maybe can do this, or ET friends can do this for us. But that those dark energies, you know, the damage that has to be done, we also ask this to be cleared. You know, um, um, any portals in us that were created, clear those too. Um, um, um. And now we ask that these technologies, you know, be blessed in a way so that again no dark entities or energies can go through it. So surround them with light, with love and light. And nowadays, you know, Wi-Fi is like everywhere. You know, that's maybe worse than microwave radiation. So, is there any Wi-Fi radiation affecting you in a negative way? So, we like to have that more cloak. So, love and light. And the dark stuff filtered out. And just like before. And visualize, you know, yourself you know, surrounding your Wi-Fi, you know, with this ball of love and light. Mm -hmm. Then if any dark entities have a problem with this, we like to have them taken to the courts of my justice and discuss that issue over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ginger Michael, would you please? And if you listen to this, just nod your head and give permission, you know, for yourself to. They're pretty insistent, so it's dark ones. Now, are you, how are you negatively affected by um, Bluetooth? No. Um, Radiation. Hmm. So, for instance, it may give you more tooth infection. You know, it creates sensitive teeth. You know, if you have, you know, um, carry Bluetooth headphones, you know, all the time, you know, for more than half an hour a day, you know, um, it can affect you. If you have unexplained issues there, you know, try without. Anyhow, so how much have you been affected negatively? Mm -hmm. And so we like to have the damage cleared now, and our Bluetooth devices, you know, blessed, so, you know, no dark carrier is through there. Well, I think it would probably be a good idea to lace them with Shungite. I'm going to do this with my one, you know. You know. Okay, um, 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 and just... We ask that those devices be blessed now. And while we're at it, you know, bless the cell phone too. Mm -hmm. 
And we asked also that any negative effects of you know, carrier waves piggybacked on G3, G4, and G5 be cleared too. Um, um, um. And please, dear spirit guides, continue to finish. I mean, this is a complicated job for them, so let's give them some time. Right, and while that is going on, you know, let's go back to portals. And ask, um, are there still any portals in the house that you're living in? Yes or no? And now let's ask, are there any dark portals due to murder or suicide? Yes or no? And we asked the Ascension teams, you know, of Love and Light to assist those spirits stuck through that and clear the energies at the portal. Um, let's also ask, uh, is your dark portal in your house due to dark ritual that was performed? Maybe even Ouija boards, you know, could cause a portal like that. Yes or no. And we asked Archangel Michael to take, you know, um, the uh, guilty uh, beings, you know, of the darkness to the courts of divine justice. And then, you know, clear those incantations, clear the spells, curses, dark energies, and portals. Amen, amen, amen. Are there any dark portals due to sexual abuse? Yes or no? And we like to have also these energies and portals cleared, as well as the dark energies and entities mm, um, that got involved there brought to the courts of divine justice. Mm, any victims you know, going to the Ascension temples? Um, um, um. We also asked, you know, that any other ghost or entities that are still there, sometimes they're stuck house gnomes, you know, other beings that should not be there anymore, you know, they please be brought to the Ascension Temples, you know, and healed, you know, through forgiveness, through insight, through the mercy of source. Uh, uh, let me make sure you agree, it's your place. Mm -hmm. So, the next question is, are there still external sources of dark energies? You know, first of all, are there dark energies coming in from your neighbors? Yes or no? Are there dark energies coming to you from historical sites? Yes or no? If there is a graveyard nearby, does it affect your space? Yes or no? Yeah, so I like to have that graveyard, you know, all the other energies cleared now. Um, oh, that feels good. <laughs> Also, are there any cell phone towers? You know, um, anything from G5, maybe in the future G6, G4, G3. And how are they affecting you? Mm -hmm. And we ask those spirit guides, you know, especially the tech savvy ones, you know, from the higher dimensions, to please, you know, screen those frequencies out for us. So they do not affect us anymore. Um, um, um. Ooh, yeah. 
And now smile, you know, and focus on pulling in as much love and light as you can. And we want to give those divine beings, you know, that when sending us love and light and assisting us, you want to be sending them our gratitude. Mm -hmm. So we ask those beings to please surround us now in the big circles. Amen. Oh yeah, smile, don't be rude, you know, mm -hmm. and now pull either heaven and earth energy or source energy if you can into your heart, you know, and then send it to your friends and to your helpers in gratitude. And you may even think, you know, when you send your energy, you know, I thank you, I love you, and telepathically, don't move your mouth, that's for smiling. And we ask them now to also bless, you know, our place, you know, fill it with love. <laughs> you know, fill it with love, but camouflage it to the outside, you know, so the dark side, you know, doesn't see it, you know, as a huge, you know, beacon of light, you know, then they're, you know, you attract all kinds of flim flam. <laughs> you know. But uh, please protect, you know, our living space with the super powerful aura of love and light that filters out all the darkness and disperses the darkness and that is not seen, you know, by the dark side beings. Um, uh, um, mm -hmm. And now, um, let's ask, you know, in your divine guidance, you know, so the consciousness the vibration, you know, in your place, you know, how much is it now? from 0 to 100, 100 being the best mm -hmm, by capacity right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, and I will count to three and then you will be back in vacant day consciousness. One, two, three, you're fully grounded now back in vacant day consciousness. Welcome back. You know, I hope you feel a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope you had a good time. Now, um, I have several videos you know, on keeping, you know, your place clean. You know, there is the heavenly vacuum cleaner technique, which is very, very potent. You know, and you can use this, you know, additionally to this meditation. Watch the video, links are in the description below. I have um, painting the walls with love, super powerful you know, technique. Really important to know this you know, as a spiritual person. And um, you know, then they're also like light scooping, you know, weaving, you know, meditation you can use, you know, to clear your space. That's also not much now. So all these, you know, are available to you. Um, yeah, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, please do so and ring that bell so you get notified. Um, send, you know, comments. You know, this is, you know, a group of people, you know, of consciousness. So connect with this group so you're not alone. And it looks good for my channel too. You know, give me thumbs up, you know, subscribe. Yeah, make sure you ring that bell. And if you respond well to those videos, you know, if you get those waves of love and ecstasy, you know, if you see things, all that means you can really work with me. You know, if you're really dense, you know, I don't want to even work with you. <laughs> so, you know, but, you know, if you see those things, if the angels come and, you know, divine beings come to you, you know, I'm pretty sure they can work with you and put you on a fast track. You know, my rates are very, very reasonable, very reasonable. And, you know, and just look in the links, you know, on how to get a session with me. I love you long time. Namaste.